Hey there, it's Shama Maher, CEO of Scaling Retail, and today we're going to talk about the actual photography needs for your e-commerce platform. I like to call this a bit of a reality check. Now, oftentimes when we're launching our businesses, we think we, hey, only need about one or two shoots. Maybe you're thinking about a lifestyle shoot, as well as maybe thinking about product shots. But in reality, you need about four different kinds of photography needs that you really should be planning for even before you open your website. Why is that? Well, obviously, guys, we are in the business of being content creators. As a fashion and retail business, you are also a media company. So what does that mean? That means that on your Instagram, you are responsible for creating engaging and dynamic content. That means on your website, you're also responsible for changing that website content on a monthly basis. What happens if you only have one set of images to pull from? Well, your customers get fatigued. That's right. You also look like a business that's not invested in telling the story and the narrative of your product and also of who your brand is and who you are. So let's unpack those four different areas in terms of what you need to be creating. Number one, we're going to be looking at lookbook images. Number two, we're looking at your lifestyle photography. Number three, we're also going to be looking at things like those model shots and ghosted images. And then lastly, guys, organic content. That's right, monthly photography for organic usage. Instagram, alternative product shots, et cetera. Let's go in a little bit deeper. So let's talk a little bit about lookbook photography. Now, usually when brands are saying, hey, I need to do that photo shoot, and I need to put something together for a lookbook, Oftentimes, they want to take those images and use them everywhere. But what exactly is a lookbook image? Well, lookbooks tend to tell an editorial narrative of your brand, which means they're usually shot on location. They usually have a few different models, lots of environment surrounding settings, and things that are going to tell the narrative and the story. Oftentimes, lookbook images are used in lookbooks as you're selling them to wholesale, maybe also located on a lookbook section of your website. And then lastly, when you think about lookbooks, you might have them on your homepage, but Certainly, guys, you're not going to drive home that exact editorial direction consistently every month on that website until you actually get new product images. Lastly, when it comes to those lookbook images, if you look at anyone's feed and all they have are those same sets of images, guess what? It looks like they are not creative. So lookbook images are super important, but you can't rest entirely on them. Now, the second thing you need to take a look at, ghosted images or on-model images for your e-commerce platform. Ghosted images and flat lays are really important as we take a look at needs of PR, as well as needs for your dynamic product advertising metrics for Facebook advertising. If you ever wonder why you get an ad that's being served to you and all you see are those flat product shots or ghosted shots, that's because those ghosted images are a direct relation of exactly what's pulling from your e-com platform. So in an ideal environment, Environment, guys, when you take a look at your product page, you'll see, let's say, an editorial image that's going to show exactly that product and that environment from that season. You also might see an image that has a model that walks on. My favorite is how Netta Porte does the walk-on model. They do a little turn. You can see the movement of the garment, then they walk off. And then you'll also see those ghosted images, which is important because ghosted images really allow the consumer to see themselves in the product. And I love that opportunity to be able to show just the product without focusing on the model or on the environment. The next thing we want to take a look at are those regular content shoots. That's right, every month or every other month you should be planning to work with models, influencers, hey, maybe even your customers on creating new and original content. Now that type of content is really there to show context, it's there to show what your brand is about and to tell stories. And guess what? Every month those images need to change. So when you're sitting down to figure out exactly how that's going to be evolving or what those content themes should look like, really sit down and take a look at your editorial programming. What are the key themes and content directions that you're looking at on a monthly basis? And then how can you use that to drive those photo shoots every month. That's really going to help everyone on your team from the models you end up using or the influencers that you choose, as well as you know how you're going to give direction to your stylist or your hair and makeup team, as well as the producer of the shoot. So the more direction you have, the more strategic you'll be. And guess what? Those images are also going to be fantastic for retargeted ads. I always like to tell people that when you're launching an e-commerce business, really have those strong editorial shots high design, lots of financial impact in them, and use those for a lot of your top of funnel advertising because they really have the best possible vision and version of your business. 
But as your business is evolving and you're also doing retargeted ads, things like the ghosted images as well as these more natural organic content shots will really get the customer to, to know who you are. Now that we've gone over all the different kinds of images that you need, you might be wondering, well, how do I actually put this into action? How do I actually take these photo shoots and make sure that they're being applied correctly? Well, I got to tell you, one of the biggest mistakes is to underestimate exactly how many images you need. Take a look at a 30-day posting schedule for something like Instagram. Well, certainly you're going to be posting at least twice a day, so boom, there you have 60 images. Are you going to have 60 images that are all going to be from that lookbook shoot? No, probably not. So as you look to diversify the content, also take a look at the direct application. This is also extremely important as you're looking to change the editorial content for your e-commerce homepage. How your website was designed on the homepage really predicates the kinds of images, the cropping, and the layout that you will need. Meaning, if your website has been designed to have a horizontal header on that page or that hero image is one horizontal image, keep in mind that your vertical image will likely either need to be extremely cropped into in order to make it look horizontal, or you might have to layer it up with two or three different uh, vertical images in order to fill that space. So before you go into content production, make a short list of all the needs because certainly guys, having four different shoots and allocating resources to this can be expensive. Nothing worse than doing the job, getting those photo shoots done, but not actually having the right format or understanding where they're going to be used as well as the different shapes and formats you might need. All right, guys, that's all from us on how to effectively take a look at your e-commerce planning needs for photography. For more information, make sure you check out our article on how to design your e-commerce platform for success. And make sure you check out our download, which is going to be the Scaling Retail Guide to Marketing Strategies so you can be the most effective business leader as you build, launch, and grow your company. Thanks for watching, guys. Please leave a comment below. Make sure you head over to Instagram and follow us at Scaling Retail. We always love to hear from you. So do send us an email at hello at scalingretail.com. All right, guys. See you later. Bye.